Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Just checking that FPS. It's going fine. Today I thought I would show you guys how to make some factories for Tech It Classic. And I apologise for my last video. I noticed the frame rate was a bit low when I was watching it. But it should be fine. That was to do with the capture settings more than my computer. But yeah, let's get started. So I thought first off we would start with a automatic crafting table factory. Just... No factories for factories, I always do. So you'll want condensers. So we go with the second one because it's a lot cheaper, because you don't need those. So you got your chest and your wooden planks. And I'm not in cheat mode anymore. I just realised I set up that other table in the wrong spot, but no worries. This one we will do something a little bit different. I just like using stone for everything, it makes it look neat. I can make these factories more compact. If you want, just send me a request. I'll do that for you, just for the sake of the video and the basic factory. I'm just going to do it like this. And this one's got four, so this is your... I missed another step. Haven't played Tech It in a while, so just got to remember the recipes. So that one will be your Mark 1 automatic crafting tables. That's your wooden transport pipes. need that much of these items, I just do that. I never actually set these up with collectors, so they're fully automatic. I'll just use a shit ton of EMC because that's what I usually have handy due to either my duplication that you'll find from the last video or from EMC factories which I might do for the next video. So once you've got everything set up you just need to put everything on a timer. I'm using redstone pipes because I find it easier and just jacketed wire. All that does will do that. That there powers all of those. I can never get that. 
it's just like that. Set your timer up. And you just got to put in all the recipes. You can do this before this step. I just do it at this step because I remember where everything goes. And because it's only crafting tables, I don't have to set up a filter for how much goes in at a time. The only reason that's got four is because that's got to come the quickest to continually have a supply. crafting tables done of course if you wanted I could take that up in half the space by reducing the amount of tubes everywhere but apart from that it's all good and I now block that signal alright there's that going already made a stack and a half Worries. Okay, for the next one, I might do filters. Just come over here so I don't have to hear that constant clicking. I'm not good at typing, as you can tell. Okay, so pretty much this whole factory just relies on getting these doped wafers. Cobblestone, gold, pistons. Just so I don't have to grab another bloody screwdriver. And this I will have come in from. things that's doped way for so you've got to set them up so that the output comes on the right hand side or else it won't extract them and it has to go into the top These ones are the biggest pain because you've got to set up a system where they don't get over flooded with too much of the wrong material. So it can't be all redstone or it can't be all wafers and whatnot. Okay, so we got that. And I'll set up two wafer creation stations. should be more organized with that but doesn't 
Merda. Now you don't have to use blue electric. It's just if I done it the other way. I probably could do it the other way. So if you want to enter fuel into the furnaces. And by fuel I mean of course charcoal or coal. It's got to come in this side. Which will actually work out fine for me. I was just trying to save you guys the hassle of having to do that. I know I said I usually do this later, but yeah, habits. Okay, so that's that set up. These will be. Took the sand in the top, that way I can have the two charcoals next to each other. Now I realise why I didn't do that, because I've got to put something else in there. But that's why there's a bottom space on them. About there. It should just come down. And you need the diamond handsaw to cut it. Chuck those in there. So that's everything set up. Now we just need to filter these. I generally do four of each. Just so it doesn't overflow when you're doing a tick every 0 0.2 seconds. That comes out, that goes in. these just because these are reliant on this end always keeping up not the other way around okay and then that doesn't matter My jacketed wire, alloy wire. So that's that all connected. Let's see how that all connected. Set that bit up to the timer. Which will leave there. Ok. 
Okay, so that should be everything done. Let's see if I've set this up correctly. Yep. That's just a handsaw and a silicon boom. And I didn't fill this one with redstone. Yep, so you notice they've all got fuel. So I've put that in correctly. Our wafers start to come through. Let's make those seven. It's filling up a lot faster than I thought it would. This factory gold will always run out first, or your wafers, but that's just because of the EMC values. That should be fine. And ta-da, there's our filter factory. So I'll speed that up. The only problem here it seems is all the redstone's going into that one. And of course all the other shit's coming over there. And that's why I don't like these factories. Sometimes you gotta manually fix them. That's filling up. I might just leave that actually 1.5. These ones working fine? No. then yeah you might have to come back to these because these are really iffy those factories but yep that's an efficient or my version of an efficient filter factory and that's that done so generally on my servers I'll just have factories for little things like advanced alloys, carbon plates, blue wafers, red wafers, blue panels, red panels and then yeah you can see this this makes them really really fast and you'll notice it's continually relying on that it's not moving as soon as one goes in one gets pumped out okay next factory let's get started on the solar panels do they take? Need resin. I need an extractor. I need a couple of macerators. I use usually yeah the normal version, not the advanced version, and I'll show you why shortly. That's why I overclockers. What else is in a solar panel? Iron. 
I'll use this recipe here. So iron, tin. These are your more advanced factories now that we're moving on to. I don't need that much redstone. might make this one in survival mode just so I can access all my items this one over in this corner easiest step is to put in the glass next step would be the generator I didn't get any tubes way of making a screwdriver if you didn't know that the furnaces were coming from this side probably gonna need more of these actually I'm not sure for a red matter furnace the items have to come in from the top. I'm just gonna test that quickly. Okay, they do. in a step there actually so again I'm just doing this because I'm not sure with red matter furnaces if they have a specific output but if they do it's almost usually the right hand side just changed this around because I forgot I had to put those into machine blocks before they came in. Sorry, battery. Which has also got to come in here somewhere.
stone, tin. which you will either need a power source for or I usually pump redstone into the bottom otherwise I'd need transform upgrades just to handle the amount of energy that goes through it you put in 16 overclockers battery done feeding into the generator so all I've got left is my circuits in the coal dust do the coal dust since they're gonna be fairly simple Still in cheap mode. Got some stone while I'm here then. Just because I didn't build this far enough out. Rather, I don't think things through when I start building factories. Think that out planning wise because we now got to use covers. That's all my coal dust. Now I just need my circuits. I'll make over here just so I have some room. Yeah, I was hoping I could get that the right way. The circuits are refined iron. There. There, redstone. And of course, they are copper cables. set up again and me failing at placing filters again Done. 
that'll be my redstone for that. Okay, now we get the fun part of wiring everything together and stocking everything. Might just set up this first. factories and not using our chemical bags is all the shit that ends up here. Of course I'll just grab a couple stacks of that to stock everything. I'm gonna need my jacketed cable once again. A red alloy wire. I might actually need more than a however much I grabbed. Might just go back into creative for this part. Just jacketed cable everywhere. that this is actually getting a lot messier than I like it to. I just like putting things in crystal chests. Okay. Time to fill it all up. Coal. Iron. We have furnaces. realize now I really don't need to put this much stuff in for you guys because you're only going to be watching it working for about a minute if that these bottom ones are going to run out the fastest just a heads up just because that's yeah that's how it's going to work because of the amount of power that gets used Uh, yes, with these, you need to set up a filter for the amount of iron that goes through, or it's just going to over jam the machine. Generally set it to about six or seven. And that's this one. Okay, let's see if the magic happens. Notice how fast it goes through the redstone. Uh, 
As the circuit's done. As the copper wire's done. That's not how you make an RE battery, is it? Oh no, I was right. Just didn't think I was. Okay, so just on this one. going to add in another timer because RE battery is usually what's dependent. You can see that's where I failed. Because for some reason we're pumping out refined iron and I realize why I have not set up the furnaces to go in. If anyone wants a ton of refined iron, you know where to find it. Okay, now I forgot to set up. usually play with my sound off, if you hadn't noticed, just because of the constant clicking that is always my factories. Even 12 works fine, so I just chuck 12 in these ones. managed to put that in the wrong way. There we go. That's our solar panel factory done. Worth a fair bit of ticking. Now I'm going to do a part two for this video of making these into low voltage, medium voltage and high voltage solar panels. And maybe in that I'll also do an MFSU factory or I may just leave it as separate videos. But anyway, as you can tell from the start of the video, we have almost a full crystal chest of automatic crafting tables. Our filters are running smoothly, although nowhere near as fast because of their wafers. Which are surprisingly not jammed up anywhere. It's always a lovely sign, apart from it will get jammed up there. Yeah, this one these ones generally just take a little bit of little bit of love and care from the players that create them. That's not overflowing. That's not overflowing. So yep. Yeah. Okay, that's the end of this video. Leave us a like, subscribe, and I'll catch you in a later video.